M Zero A Online Ground School. It's day three of the 31 Day Safe Pilot Challenge. What is happening, M Zero A Online Ground School? Jason here, joined with your buddy Bashoy. You saw him in some Online Ground School member webinars recently as well. And my friend, we're talking about runway incursions today, but before we do that, they need to check in. They're three for three, and we want to make sure. But show us gonna be your accountability partner. All right. right. Make sure you actually get it done, that you are three for three. Check it in the comments down below. But show you, you fly out of some really, really busy airspace yep. in South Florida. You gotta be good on the radios, you gotta know where you're going, you gotta have your tax pay diagrams out. True. Literally, before we filmed this, you were telling me about a, a runway incursion you saw just the other day where the guy, crossed the runway, realized what he did wrong, and came, made a U-turn and came back. So it was like two runway incursions in 30 seconds. Very, yeah, very, very sad. And, yeah. and that is, unfortunately, we could say that's typical of South Florida, but in reality, that's typical across the country. What True. can we as pilots be doing to prevent runway incursions? Very good question. I think the good thing to start with, well, what is runway incursion? Yeah. Um, runway incursion is, you know, the incorrect presence of an aircraft or a vehicle or a person on a air designated area for a takeoff and landing. Right. Um, so now we understand that, that what is runway incursion? You know, we, I mean, we need to ask ourselves, well, what are the things I need to do to avoid, um, you know, causing that issue? What are the things that I well, what are the things that cause that issue? So the right. things that cause that issue, you know, it could be uh, heads down activity. If I'm, you know, sitting down and I got my clearance, IFR clearance, plugging in my numbers and, um, you know. Trying to spell all those weird IFR fixes while trying to taxi and everything else. Yeah. Absolutely. And then usually what happened with that is if I'm complacent, you know, if I'm familiar with the airport, so, okay, I'm going to taxi out while I'm taxiing, I'm plugging my stuff. So now I'm taxiing yeah. and I got my taxi clearance, but I'm familiar with it. Okay. So I'm taxing out I've got my heads down and trying to plug the numbers yeah. and then that's where all things could go wrong um, so I think number one could be you know um, a heads down activity we want to avoid you that see it so much we saw it when we started adding iPads right into the flight deck people are just Correct. flying like this now and I don't care if you know the airport like you said you still need to have your head up and everything else. I personally will get our IFR clearance, hear the beautiful words, read back correct. Everyone loves to hear that. Yep. I'll plug all that in in the run-up area. Yep, let's, exactly. let's focus on our taxi. Let's have the taxiway diagram out. Let's go from there. But let's take that a step further. Yes, we can have our diagrams out. We can use progressive taxi. We can do all these things. Yeah. What are some other potential issues that we need to worry about, like beyond what we learn in the far end, beyond what we learn just in ground school? What happens in the real world that causes runway incursions? Yeah, I think one of the other things that could really lead to a runway incursion or cause that is, for example, you know, you're taxiing out with a friend or with a passenger, and they're sitting next to you. Again, they they're not very they are very impressed. Oh, there's a plane, yeah. and they they want to ask you a lot of questions, yes, and do. that's where things could go really bad because if you get distracted that could really take your focus and then things could go wrong so it's it's okay to explain and that's why a good brief before you start a passenger or crew brief before you even get in the plane could make the flight way much better okay we're going to talk about this before while we're taxiing we're going to keep the chat to the minimum and that's yeah. what we call the sterile cockpit You're exactly yeah. right yeah. yeah it's funny you said i have a, i'm a dad of three oh. so it's not always airplane questions it's like dad i dropped my toy and all this stuff you're taxiing or on landing or something like that that's where the power of that mute button comes in or you can mute your passenger sometimes. that is a wonderful it's yeah. a wonderful button sometimes Absolutely. to use mm -hmm. yeah what else yeah i think uh, another um thing that I can think of is, you know, using the phone. I mean, nowadays, you know, we could be easily distracted. I get in the cockpit, okay, I'm, I'm preparing everything, and oh, all of a sudden, my, my I get a text message, and I'm very tempted, you know, oh, oh what is yeah. this text? Okay, I, I'm gonna reply, and I'm taxiing out, and so there is no need, it's not worth it. You no. know, if, you know, people say, oh, don't text and drive, so imagine now, don't fly, and it, it is <laughs> yes. no point. So it, the text can wait, it doesn't matter how important is it can wait right now the mission is to get that plane from point a to point b safely so there's no need to heads down and sure takes if you really need to just stop the plane and and figure out what you need to do and then you can move what if i 
what if I just genuinely don't understand what the controller told me to do? Like they give you this mm. left on alpha, right on bravo, cross one forward, and you're like, uh, I don't even have any idea where to start. All the time happens, yeah, all that, especially when bigger airport, that's okay. It's just stop where you are mm -hmm. and ask for a progressive taxi. Amen. That's it, Yeah. just ask for but progressive taxi. But we have to have yeah. the humility to say, hey, I need True. a little backup. I need yeah. a little bit of help. And that's so important in aviation is having that humility sometimes to admit what you don't know. Correct. And admit that you need a little bit of help. I think if you adopt that attitude, I know mm -hmm. if you adopt that attitude, it'll take you very, very far in aviation. So listen, check in that you are three for three down below, but sure you'll be joining us in a few future videos yes. uh, as well. So we we'll watch watching for that. Give him a thumbs up on his amazing <laughs> performance as well in the comments as well. Listen, thank you so much. Look forward to seeing you tomorrow for day four. In the meantime, have a blessed, abundant, outstanding rest of your day. And All most right. importantly, remember, a good pilot is always learning. Have a great day, everybody. I'll see you.